script for our A-OK! -okay. Music! Right! OK! Let's go home and get a good night's sleep! See you bright and early tomorrow! It's going to be a busy day! So, they think they can do the show without me, huh? They didn't think my ideas were good enough, huh? Well, I'll fix it so they won't even have a show. Then they'll see things my way. I'll show them. Ha 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 ha. Hey, everybody, we've got work to do. Raise the curtain, Charlie. Think. We could ask Papa Bear to make new costumes. Yes! Pierre could compose new music. Yes! Betty could help build new sets. Yes! And Professor Al can write new scripts. Yes! It just might work. Register and let's get going. What's your name? Find it on the list or type it in. G O D space B O Y Here we are at the town square. Who should we visit first? We're making excellent progress. Which way next? Whoa! I can't believe it! It's Rita Rabbit! I've seen all of your plays and I've got a scrapbook of your pictures. Will you autograph one for me? Please! Of course! These pictures are from your show, The Road to Word Town. Please sign the picture that shows you saying, Matt, what are you doing here? No, that picture shows you acting, afraid. Sign the picture where you are acting, surprised. Thanks, you really were acting, surprised, in that picture. Hello, Rita Rabbit, my friend. Pierre, all the music and signs you created for the show are missing. What? My posters, my music, they are gone. Without music, the band will know what to play. And what about Matt's big dance number? If we hurry, we can fix things for tonight's show. Oh, yes, yes, the show must go on. We can paint new posters over here. And you can help me with music and Matt's dance number over here. OK, Pierre. Let's get to work. We need to help Matt finish the songs over here. And the posters need to be painted over here. We have so much to do before the show tonight. What should we do first? Goodbye. Au revoir. What should we do next? Costumes, props, scripts, sets? You decide! Here are pictures from Reader in Wonderland. Sign the one that shows when you said Yuck! I step right in the mud! It's important how you play it when you say something It's important how you say it If you want to understand what you've heard Listen to the feeling in the words Like Look at that! That sounds happy Look at that! That sounds sad Look 
Look at that! That sounds excited! Look at that! Uh oh! That sounds bad! Click on the picture that shows when you said Yuck! I step right in the mud! Right! That picture shows you acting! Disgusted! Hello again, Reader Rabbit! You have come to help me, yes? That's right, Pierre! I'm here to work! Ah, oh, Reader Rabbit! Matt and I are so happy that you can help us with the music for tonight! Matt, my friend, please tell Reader what we need to do. Okay. Pierre needs help to finish the music for each instrument. The songs for tonight are missing some notes. Pierre will play part of a song, and then you need to play back the notes. Don't forget to fill in the missing notes. Okay, listen. Plan did. Now try this part. Yes! A one and a two. Merveilleux! Here is the next little bit. Fantastic! Peas pudding! Nice tune! Perfect! Our music for the piano is ready! Listen closely! Perfect! Try this one. Magnifique! Listen to this. Splendid! Now try this part. Extraordinaire! Blow the man down! What a dynamite dance number! Ah, this will be just right for the acoustic bass. Do you know this song?
formidable. A one and a two. Merveilleux. Here is the next little bit. Fantastic! Try this one. Superbe! London Bridge. Groovy music. Yes, yes, our music for the violin is ready for the show. Listen to this song. Magnifique! Listen to this. Plant did. Now try this part. Yes, a one and a two. Fabuleux. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Wonderful song. Aha! A great tune for the trombone. They'll never replace everything in time. At eight o'clock tonight, the theatre will be full and they won't be able to put on the show. Then I'll be a star, and there's nothing they can do about it. <laughs> Here's the next one. Excellent. Here is the next little bit. They 
Extraordinaire Try this one. Très bien Listen to this. Splendid. Old Grey Mare, I like this beat. Perfect. A wonderful melody for the trumpet. Guess the name of this song. Superb! Now try this part. Fantastic! A one and a two. Excellent! Here is the next little bit. Magnifique! This old man! Great music for dancing! Excellent, excellent, my friend! This melody is ideal for the saxophone! Okay, listen! Extraordinaire. Try this one. Fabuleux. Listen to this. Perfect. Now try this part.
That note sounded a bit off. Try a different one. Mm-hmm, not quite. Listen again. Superbe. Daisy Daisy. Sweet song. Ooh, that is beautiful. Our music for flute is ready. Listen closely. Formidable. A one and a two. Très bien. Here is the next little bit. Oops, that's not quite it. Let's try again. Once more, if you please. Merveilleux! Try this one. Perfect! Are you sleeping? This is a tune I can dance to! Très bien! The song for the clarinet is ready! Another hour less for Reader Rabbit! We have everything we need from here. Let's check the list to see what we still need. Do you know this song? Thank you for your help, my friend! Ah, you want to paint posters for the show? Fantastic! Choose any poster to work on up here. Choose your brush, pencil, fill bucket or rubber over here. Pick your colors here. And create your poster here. Also, click here to see different stickers to use on your poster. When you are finished with a poster, you can see it out on the road. Remember, we need to make all four posters for the show tonight. If we do a good job, more people will know about the show. If you need help, I will be working right here.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> This Para 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 Remember, choose any poster to work on up here. Choose your brush, pencil, fill bucket or rubber over here. Pick your Remember. Merci, we'll put up your new artwork right away. 
At last we are finished. Magnificent work, my friend. Now check with Monsieur Charlie to see if there is more work to do. I'm on my way. Goodbye. Au revoir. Making excellent progress. Which way next? Hey, Reader Rabbit, I'm so pleased to see you. What's going on, Stanley? Hey, I've got to put these animals in the right scene. Can you help me find the one that doesn't belong? Of course. Have a home, there's a place where they roam, some place where they ought to be. So if you see something wrong, creatures that don't belong, take them away. That's how you play animal geography. Of course! This octopus is really a fish out of water in this scene. <coughs> Betty is expecting you back there. <laughs> Four hours have gone by and they only have part of what they need. They'll never get it all by tonight. I'll show them. <laughs> what should we do next? Costumes, props, scripts, sets? You decide. We only have six more hours. Welcome to my humble home. It's quite a lovely place. To enter, pick the proper letter. To fill the empty space. Um, which letter do I choose to spell the word for this picture? Here's a door. Ring the bell, see the word, time to spell. You've got a word and the word has a missing space. You need to put the right letter into place. How do you know which letter it should be? Well, why don't you try your free? Say bit, bad, bed or six sack socks. Fesh, fash, fish or big spax box. Say them out loud and you will see. What's the right letter? to be. Use your ears and you can tell. That's how you learn to spell. I'm afraid that's not quite right. Bad does not have the same middle sound as bed. To pass through my door, pick the letter that makes the same middle sound. E E D spells bed. Brilliant, my friend. Oh, please do come in. Greetings, Reader Rabbit. Do come in. Professor Owl, the scripts you wrote for the show tonight are gone. Heavens, that means there's no show. But the comedy routine I was going to do with my big cream pie. Now no one will get to see it. We still have time to rewrite those scripts if we hurry. Can you remember what you wrote? Yes, possibly, possibly. But I do need help with the writing over here. And I also need your help coaching Penelope for the play over here. She needs a lot of work. I'm ready. We don't have much time, so let's get going! Time is running out, and there's so much left to do! Penelope, how are we ever going to get you ready for our stage act? Professor Owl is such a worrier. I can say my words. All I need is a little help. Penelope, you're simply not ready for the play tonight. 
Your pronunciation is atrocious. Yes, and it isn't very good either. I just need more practice. With your help, I'll be ready for my part in the play. When Professor Owl says a word, pick the biscuit with the same beginning sound. Say the word skate. Skate. Well done. Thank you, thank you. Here's the next word. Ship. Ship. Oh, capital. Oh, thank you. And the next word is chop. Stop. Mm, that's not quite right. Now listen closely. Chop. Chop. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. And now, spike. Spike. Oh, outstanding. Oh, thank you. Excellent job, Penelope. Here's a little something for our comedy routine tonight. Whoa, how does it work? Ah, yes. Let's save it for tonight, shall we? Remember, when Professor Owl says a word, click on the letters that have the same sound as the ending of the word. Say the word desk. Desk. Magnificent. Thank you, thank you. Here's the next word. Wash. Wash. Yes, yes, that's perfect. Oh, thank you. And the next word is rich. Rich. Well done. Thank you, thank you. And now, crisp. Crisp. Excellent. Oh, thank you. Well done, Penelope. What do you think of this prop? Oh, this. Oh, ah, yes, that. Do be careful, will you? Say the word best. Best. Oh, capital. Thank you, thank you. Here's the next word. Fresh. Fresh. Oh, right. Oh, thank you. And the next word is rich. Rich. Oh, outstanding. Thank you, thank you. And now, crisp. Crisp. That's it. Oh, thank you. We're making superb progress. Here's something else we might use tonight. Let me see. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Listen to the middle of the word and click on the letters that make that sound. Say the word mother. Mother. Well done. Thank you, thank you.
Thank you. Here's the next word. Splashing. Splashing. Oh, capital. Oh, thank you. And the next word is plastic. Plastic. Oh, right. Thank you, thank you. And now, richest. Richest. Oh, outstanding. Oh, thank you. Oh, wonderful. Now look at this. Can you guess how it works? Hmm. That's it. Hmm. They're getting more things than I thought they would. But they'll never get everything. No way! I'm still going to be the star of the show. We have everything we need from here. Let's check the list. My goodness, we're almost done. Oh, the scripts are almost done, but I need you to help me finish the last few sentences. Here's the list of words I think we should use, but I'm not sure where they go. Choose a word that completes the sentence. Then drag the word to the blank where it belongs. Click on a sentence to hear it read aloud. Hot. A very proper choice of word. New. I say, what a good word to use. Matt walks in the desert. The desert is hot. A straw hat helps Matt stay cool. A roadrunner lands on the hat. Hey, why are you on my hat? says Matt. I need a new home, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my new home. Seize. That's it. Spies. I do not have a shell. Right. You cannot stay on my hat, says Matt. I will help you find a home. Matt sees a desert tortoise. Can you live in a shell like a tortoise? asks Matt. I do not have a shell, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my new home. Help. A fine word for this sentence. Dig. Excellent choice. Excellent. You cannot stay on my hat, says Matt. I will help you find a home. Matt sees a kangaroo rat. Can you live in a hole like a kangaroo rat? asks Matt. I cannot dig a hole, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my new home. Nest. I say, what a good word to use. My. That's it. You cannot stay on my hat, says Matt. I will help you find a home. Matt sees some sticks on a cactus. Can you live in a nest on a cactus? asks Matt. I can live in a nest, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my old home. This nest is my new home. Oh, thank you, reader. This should help Charlie and the cast with final rehearsals. Find the words which complete the story.
To fill in each blank, drag the word from the list that completes the sentence. Monkey. A very proper choice of word. Crawl. Hmm, not quite. This sentence sounds confusing with crawl in it. Swing. Right. Matt and Baby Bear sit by a tree. What do you want to do? asks Baby Bear. Matt sees a monkey in a tree. Let's swing like monkeys, says Matt. Matt and Baby Bear swing from the trees. What? A fine word for this sentence. Snakes. I say, what a good word to use. The trees stop here, says Matt. What do you want to do? Baby Bear sees a snake in the tall grass. Let's slither like snakes, says Baby Bear. Matt and Baby Bear slither along the ground. Spider. Excellent choice, excellent. Knees. A very proper choice of word. The grass stops here, says Baby Bear. What do you want to do? Matt sees a spider on the rocks. Let's crawl like spiders, says Matt. Matt and Baby Bear crawl on their hands and knees. Birds. That's it. Arms. Right. The rock stops here, says Matt. Now what? Baby Bear sees a bird in the sky. Let's fly like birds, says Baby Bear. Matt and Baby Bear flap their arms. They fly to the river. Sort of. Splash! Next time, let's swim like fish, says Matt. That's it. We've got another one. Mask. A fine word for this sentence. Water. I say, what a good word to use. Baby Bear and Papa Bear play at the beach. Papa Bear sits on a raft. Baby Bear puts on a mask and flippers. I see an animal with eight arms, says Papa Bear. Baby Bear dives into the water. She finds an animal with eight arms. It's an octopus, yells Baby Bear. Bottom. Excellent choice. Excellent. Rock. Mm. She finds a purple floor. Round. A very proper choice of word. I see an animal that is purple and round, says Papa Bear. Can you find it? Baby Bear takes a big breath. She dives to the ocean bottom. She finds a purple round snail. Look, Papa Bear, it's a sea snail, says Baby Bear. Legs. That's it. Says. Right. Now try to find an animal with five legs, says Papa Bear. Baby Bear looks through her mask. She sees an animal with five arms. It's a starfish, 
says Baby Bear. But it's stuck to the rock. Stairs. I say, what a good word to use. Raft. Excellent choice, excellent. Now it's your turn, says Baby Bear. I see an animal with a shell and claws. Papa Bear stares into the water. I do not see it, says Papa Bear. It's a lobster, says Baby Bear. And it just poked a hole in your raft. Help, yells Papa Bear. Another excellent story. Good work. River. A very proper choice of word. Fish. A fine word for this sentence. This camp is no fun, says Spike. There is nothing to do here. Let's go fishing in the river, says Matt. Yuck, fish are smelly, says Spike. But fish taste good, says Matt. I don't know how to fish, says Spike. Walk. That's it. Watch. Right. I know, says Matt. We can go for a walk in the woods. Yuck, there are too many insects, says Spike. But insects are fun to watch, says Matt. I would get lost, says Spike. Water. Excellent choice, excellent. Moon. Hmm, not quite. Find the words which complete sun. I say, what a good word to use. I know, says Matt. We can swim in the lake. Yuck, the water is too cold, says Spike. But the sun will keep us warm, says Matt. The lake is too deep, says Spike. Bye. A fine word for this sentence. Learn. A very proper choice of word. I know, says Matt. We can sing by the campfire. Yuck! I don't know the songs, says Spike. I don't know them either, says Matt. But we can learn them together. What a great idea, says Spike. I'm glad you thought of it. Well done, reader. I must say that makes a fine story for the show. Rats! Reader Rabbit is replacing all the stuff! They might be able to put on the play after all! Next! I say, what a good word to use! Should! Excellent choice! Excellent! Princess Betty sits next to her castle. Sir Lunchalot arrives at the castle. How are you doing, Princess? asks Sir Lunchalot. I lost my key, says Princess Betty. Do you want to help me find it? Where should we look? asks Sir Lunchalot. Forest. A fine word for this sentence. The Dragon That's it! Jiggles At 
I say, what a good word to use. Lost. Thank you, reader. Those were some well-chosen words for the story. Just a couple more stories and we'll have all our scripts ready. Goes. Mm. Stands. Right. Runs. Stretches. Meets. A fine word for this sentence. No. Water. A very proper choice of word. Nose. Ends. Excellent choice. Excellent. Swims. Nice work. I'm so glad you're here to help choose the right words. Picnic. A fine word for this sentence. Each. I... Like. Right. Else. It... Picks. Mm. Pizza. A very proper choice of word. Have. That's it. Getting. I say, what a good word to use. Under. A fine word for this sentence. Ah, oh, we've done it. Here's the final script we need for the show. Rats! Reader Rabbit is replacing all the stuff! They might be able to put on the play after all! We have everything we need from here. Let's... Excellent job, Reader. We're all done here. Now go back to the theatre to find out what else needs to be done. Right, Professor. I'm on my way! Excellent. Excellent. That was fun. Let's try another place. On the shell of each turtle is a day of the week. Put them in the proper order, and you can cross the creek. From beginning to the end, a week has seven days, my friend. You can learn the natal sea, if you sing along with me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, seven days in a week. The days of the week are all in a row. Now you can cross the river and go, go, go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hello, Reader Rabbit. Papa Bear, we have a problem. All the costumes you made for the variety show are gone. Oh my, what will we do? The show needs those costumes. Oh, Dad! How can you be a knight in shining armour without the armour? That 
that's why I'm here. If we hurry, we can make new costumes by tonight. Will you help me? Fine. Let's check what's in the store over here and see if the costumatic has what we need over there. Great! Let's get started. The show opens tonight. All right. Here we go. Welcome to the Costumetic, the coin-operated costume dispenser. It's easy to make an outfit. Click on the arrows to see the costumes you can get. Click on the item you wish to buy. Excellent choice. To purchase, please put in eight billies. Exact change only, please. Thank you. A fine selection. To purchase, please put in 21 billies. Thank you. Oh, delightful costume. To purchase, please put in 30. One billies. Thank you. Excellent choice. To purchase, please put in nineteen billies. Thank you. Your fans will love this. Oh yes! It looks great! Come on, let's make the rest of the costumes. A fine selection. To purchase, please put in 10 billies. Thank you. Oh, delightful costume. To purchase, please put in 60 billies. Thank you. Excellent choice. To purchase, please put in 40 billies. Thank you. Fine selection. To purchase, please put in 74 billies. Thank you. Well done. You will look like a star. It looks great! Come on, let's make the rest of the costumes! Oh, delightful costume! To purchase, please put in 67 billies. Thank you. Excellent choice. To purchase, 
Please put in 35 billies. Thank you. A fine selection. To purchase, please put in 48 billies. Thank you. Oh, delightful costume. To purchase, please put in three billies. Thank you. Oh, a very handsome outfit. Please come back again. Yes, it looks great. Come on, let's make the rest of the costumes. Excellent choice. To purchase, please put in 31 billies. Thank you. A fine selection. To purchase, please put in 45 billies. Thank you. Oh, delightful costume. To purchase, please put in 87 billies. Thank you. Excellent choice. To purchase, please put in 48 billies. Thank you. A wonderful costume. You'll be a real star at the show. Oh yes, it looks great. Come on, let's make the rest of the costumes. I can't believe it. They've almost got all the stuff. They can't do this to me. It's not fair. We have everything we need from here. We're making progress. All right. Here we go. We have lots of smashing things in my store. Help us work out how many things we have. I'm sure we can find great costumes for the show. Baby Bear will find the things we need to count. I'll show the problem on the clipboard. Then you need to type the answer on your keyboard. Okay, Baby Bear. What do we have up there? Well... We have... Five red bow ties and... Two orange bow ties. Okay, Reader. How many is that in all? Hmm... Seven Okay. Get the next one ready, Baby Bear. Hmm. We have seven fake moustaches in all. And two of the fake moustaches are orange. How many blue fake moustaches? 
does that leave? Hmm. Five. That's our number. What's next, baby bear? Let's see. We have two red bowler hats and two orange bowler hats. What does that add up to? Hmm. Four. OK. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Well... We have six eyeglasses in all. And four of the eyeglasses are orange. How many blue eyeglasses? Does that leave? Hmm. Two. That's our number. Oh, here's a great costume. <laughs> That's perfect for Betty's part in the show. What's next, Baby Bear? Hmm. We have four red squirting daisies and five orange squirting daisies. How many is that all together? Hmm. Nine. OK. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Let's see. We have eight party masks in all and five of the party masks are orange. How many blue party masks does that leave? Hmm. Three. That's our number. What's next, baby bear? Well... We have two red bow ties and one orange bow tie. OK, reader. How many is that in all? Hmm... Three. OK. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Hmm. We have five fake moustaches in all. And three of the fake moustaches are orange. How many? Blue. Fake moustaches. Does that leave? Hmm. Two. That's our number. Hey, shining armor. Oh, I know who needs that. What's next, baby bear? Let's see. We have six red bowler hats and five orange bowler hats. What does that add up to? Hmm. Eleven. OK. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Well... We have 18 squirting daisies in all. And 5 
of the squirting daisies are orange. How many blue squirting daisies does that leave? Hmm. Thirteen. That's our number. What's next, baby bear? Hmm. We have three red eyeglasses and nine orange eyeglasses. How many is that all together? Hmm. Twelve. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Let's see. We have fourteen bow ties in all, and two of the bow ties are orange. How many blue bow ties? Does that leave? Hmm. Twelve. That's our number. Look at this one, reader. All right, Super Rabbit. What's next, Baby Bear? Well. We have five red party masks and five orange party masks. OK, reader, how many is that in all? Hmm. Ten. OK. Get the next one ready, baby bear. We have twelve fake moustaches in all, and two of the fake moustaches are orange. How many blue fake moustaches does that leave? Hmm. Ten. That's our number. What's next, baby bear? Let's see. We have fourteen red bowler hats and three orange bowler hats. What does that add up to? Hmm. Seventeen. OK. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Well... We have 19 eyeglasses in all and 7 of the eyeglasses are orange. How many blue eyeglasses? Does that leave? Hmm. Twelve. That's our number. How about this one? Penelope sure will look funny in that. I can't believe it. They've almost got all the stuff. They can't do this to me. It's not fair. What's next, Baby Bear? Hmm. We have 11 red bow ties and 8 orange bow ties. How many is that all together? Hmm. Nineteen. OK. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Let's see. 
We have 15 party masks in all and four of the party masks are orange how many blue party masks does that leave hmm. eleven that's our number What's next, baby bear? Well, we have seven red squirting daisies and six orange squirting daisies. OK, reader, how many is that in all? Hmm. Thirteen. OK. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Hmm. We have eighteen bowler hats in all. And eight of the bowler hats are orange. How many blue bowler hats? Does that leave? Hmm. Ten? That's our number. Here's a nice outfit. Perfect. I know just what to do with it. What's next, baby bear? Let's see. We have one red pair of eyeglasses and 17 orange eyeglasses. What does that add up to? Hmm. 18. OK. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Well... We have 13 bow ties in all and three of the bow ties are orange. How many blue bow ties does that leave? Hmm. 10. That's our number. What's next, baby bear? Hmm. We have two red fake moustaches and 13 orange fake moustaches. How many is that all together? Hmm. Fifteen. OK. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Let's see. We have fourteen squirting daisies in all and two of the squirting daisies are orange. How many? Blue. Squirting daisies. Does that leave? Hmm. Twelve. That's our number. How about this one? Whoa! Will I look cool in this or what? What's next, baby bear? Well... We have one red bowler hat and six orange bowler hats and four green bowler hats. OK, reader, how many is that in all? Hmm. Eight. 
Eleven. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Hmm. We have nineteen party masks in all, and fourteen of the party masks are orange. How many blue party masks does that leave? Hmm. Five. That's our number. What's next, baby bear? Let's see. We have five red bow ties and one orange bow tie and two green bow ties. What does that add up to? Hmm. Eight. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Well, we have fifteen fake moustaches in all, and six of the fake moustaches are orange. How many blue fake moustaches does that leave? Hmm. Nine. That's our number. Oh, I like this one. This is just what we need for Matt's number. What's next, baby bear? Hmm. We have seven red squirting daisies. And four orange squirting daisies. And one green squirting daisy. How many is that altogether? Hmm. Twelve. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Let's see. We have eleven eyeglasses in all, and ten of the eyeglasses are orange. How many blue eyeglasses does that leave? Hmm. One. That's our number. What's next, baby bear? Well, we have nine red party masks and two orange party masks and seven green party masks. Okay, reader. How many is that in all? Hmm. Eighteen. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Hmm. We have fourteen bow ties in all, and five of the bow ties are orange. How many blue bow ties does that leave? Hmm. Nine. That's our number. Ew! What do you think of this? Oh, I know who needs that. Oh no! They did it! My plans foiled again! You may
may think I am not so nice, but before you do, think twice and listen to this sad, sad song of mine. My grumpiness is only because I'm sad and lonely, because no one wants to hug a porcupine. I'm covered all with prickles from my feet up to my fingers, and when someone bumps into me, they really know it. So everyone avoids me, it really does annoy me, and makes me feel crabby, and I show it. Imagine what it's like to be someone prickly like me, and have folks needle you all the time. <laughs> needle, get it? So I like to pop their bubbles and cause them lots of troubles Cause no one wants to hug a porcupine Oh my! Everyone is waiting for the show! Is everything ready? Yes it is! Reader Rabbit saved the day and the show looks great. But where's Reader? Welcome to opening night of the Big Word Town Show. <laughs> Papa Bear, Penelope Parrot, and Match the Mouse are ready to perform. To see their act, just click on them. When you have seen all their acts, click on the curtain rope to end the show. If you don't know what to do, just click on me. And now, on with the show. Sir Lunchalot, I am sending you on a quest. A rest? Great. Three months sounds about right. No, no. I said a quest, not a rest. Oh, a quest. What for? Well, I've lost the key to my kingdom. I need the key to get into my castle. You and I are going to find that key. Why don't we find you a new castle? We start our quest in the forest. The forest? Mm. And together we can defeat the fire-breathing <coughs> dragon. Duh. Oh, does this dragon have green scales and horns? <laughs> Why, of course. And together we can confront their big antlered moose. Does this moose have big, sharp antlers? They can cut through stone, and surely we can overcome the giant octopus. D -d -d Does this octopus have eight powerful legs? Why, of course! Why don't we find you a new castle? Off we go to the forest. Lead the way, Sir lunch a lot A uh, princess? M maybe the door to your castle is unlocked. Why don't you try the door again? Don't be foolish. Are you coming with me or not? Oh! Whoa! Oh, I think it's time to find a new castle. Sir Lunchalot, I am sending you on a quest. A rest? Professor, what do you get when you cross a clown with a goat? Hmm, a clown and a goat. Let me see. I don't know. A silly billy. <laughs> <laughs>
thirsty, put your foot out, heel and toe. And slide your legs together and around you go. Curl up your whiskers, wiggle your knees. Clap your hands and clap your ears and sing out cheese. Put your right foot forward, step in and out. Do it on the left and twirl about. Then grab your tail and bounce around and never stop. Because we're doing the heavy mouse hop. We're doing the heavy mouse hop. We hope everyone enjoyed the show. Thank you all and good night. We did it. We worked together today. We never stop. No, not a lot. And put on our play. So now's the time to celebrate and say hip hooray. There's no doubt that we did it. We had a big problem. And that problem was me. But now we're all here singing. And I'm up in a tree. At first we were discouraged. And feeling at a loss. But now we're really happy. And that makes me cross. It's teamwork that helped to save the day. So now we're feeling confident. And we want to say that if we need to solve a problem, hey, we